everyone. I'm Professor Knows a Lot. Welcome to cooking here at the Springfield Museums. Today, we're going to be making a very special recipe soft pretzels. Fun fact Dr. Seuss's grandparents owned a bakery, and in their bakery, they sold, made and sold soft pretzels. And we're going to make them today, too. And don't forget, before you start mixing your ingredients and getting everything ready, you must do what we call preheat the oven. For this recipe, we bring it up to 475 degrees according to our recipe. This way, the oven is already hot when we're ready to put the food in. Don't forget, it's very important. When you're ready to start your recipe and start your cooking, it's really important that you read through the whole recipe. We always want to make sure that we have all the ingredients that we need and all the supplies that we need. You most certainly don't want to get partway through and discover that something's missing. Today, our recipe calls for only a few ingredients. We have flour, sugar, yeast, that's what helps them puff up and rise, salt, and then we're going to grab some water from the sink. Now, there are certain tools that we need to make this recipe. We have a liquid measure cup. This type of cup is used for measuring liquids, like water or milk, something like that. And all the measurements are listed on the side so it makes it nice and easy. We have our dry measuring cups. The sizes are listed on the handle of how much they hold, and these are used for measuring things like flour and sugar. We also have our measuring spoons. Now measuring spoons are both used for dry and wet when we only need a really small amount. If you only need one tablespoon of something, you certainly don't want to have to use one of these big ones. This makes it a lot easier. We have um, a pan that we're going to use for mixing today. You can use a bowl or a pan or whatever is handy. A spoon's just for stirring. I use this for cutting the dough. But later on, you'll see, you can use the handle of a spoon, a, sh a knife that isn't sharp, or anything that you have that's close by. We also have a nice big cutting board that we're gonna use later to roll out and cut our dough. And of course, we need something to put the pretzels on to put them in the oven, and that would be our baking sheet. Are you ready to start cooking? 